what's up guys and be very welcome back to my channel how are you doing <laughs> okay you guys so it's 2020 yeah it's a new year and yeah i'm feeling 2020 already so in today's video i'm going to be talking about my 2019 favorites um and i'm gonna be talking about foundations concealers palettes blush, contouring palettes, all that good stuff. So first of all, we're gonna be talking about primers. So my favorite primers from 2019. And okay, let's do this. <laughs> my favorite one has to be the Professional Primer. This one, it is a smoothing face primer that minimizes the look of pores. So if you have large pores in this area or in the forehead, chin, you know, like I usually have large pores here. They're not like very large, but they're a little large, but they're just around this area and I put a little bit more here and then just put on my whole face. And this one has to be definitely my favorite. It is almost empty and it's my second mini one <laughs> because they have this one in a bigger size. Like this I think this is the mini one and for my second favorite primer I'm gonna have to go with this Too Faced primed and peachy uh, this is a cooling matte skin perfecting primer so it is matte if you're like if you have oily skin I'm wearing it today actually if you have oily to combination skin this one it's really good I literally apply it on my whole face because I'm not too dry not too oily I'm just I'm a mix of that you know but this one has to be one of my favorites because it leaves my skin and my foundation look beautiful so yeah second place this one right here okay for the third primer I'm pretty sure I had a third I have this one from Flormar which is an illuminating makeup primer um, it is really this one feels like a moisturizer literally it looks like I'm putting a moisturizer on my skin it is very hydrating I use this one especially in winter and also autumn I travel a lot so I usually take this one with me to cold weather places because it leaves my skin really hydrated throughout the day and my foundation looks really cool I don't have breakouts with this one so yeah this one is a plus I love it <laughs> and now let's go to our favorite part isn't it <coughs> why am I <coughs> why I did it <coughs> all the time like <coughs> god damn it Maria <laughs> okay guys I'm sorry I'm really excited about 2020 so yeah Okay, let's go for foundation. Um, so my first, my favorite foundation of all freaking time. It's gotta be this one from Makeup Forever. Um, the Ultra HD foundation. Uh, this foundation is amazing, why? It looks like this, it has a pump and it is really cool because you can build it. It feels very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel like you have foundation on. You know those, you're pretty, you, I'm sure you know those foundations that you put on your skin and you feel like you have foundation and it's not comfortable. This one is super comfortable. Um, you can build it, even you can use it as a sheer look foundation. Uh, and if you build it up, if you put more layers, it is full coverage. So this one leaves the skin perfect. I'm not kidding perfect it leaves the skin super smooth it almost looks like satin on your skin um, and it is so comfortable you guys I don't feel like I have foundation and I pretty much just look like I have foundation like a high coverage foundation going on um, and this one it's amazing for pictures you guys uh, it doesn't do flashback Makeup Forever Ultra HD, my favorite foundation of all time. And I'm pretty sure that if next year I do another video, this one is still going to be my first favorite one. <laughs> For the second favorite foundation, I'm gonna have to go with this little one, which is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. 
Uh, this foundation is amazing. It is full coverage. It covers all your sins, all your problems. <laughs> Why am I saying this? Uh, it covers everything you need. Um, and it has an SPF 15, which is great. It is supposed to be matte and full coverage, and it is. Don't worry, it is. I know it is. <laughs> I use this almost every day. I'm not gonna lie. I use this one a lot, almost every day too. So, so these ones are like in between together. This one, it has more of a coverage than the Makeup Forever one. This one, you put it on your skin and you have like the coverage going on, and it's really great. Um, it feels good on the skin and it just has the perfect coverage you put a little bit you have coverage you put even more you have even more coverage if you're a full coverage girl just like me I put on my clients this one a lot because it has an SPF and it is full coverage and almost every single one of them want full coverage and if you have dry skin you just go with a hydrating primer like this one and you put this one don't worry because this one mixed with this one is really good now for a third favorite foundation I mean I have a lot you guys I have like a lot of 2019 favorite foundations the most full coverage one I'm just gonna be really quick right now the most full coverage one is this one from Sephora you guys this cost me on Black Friday three euros three and this is amazing this has this is like Okay, what, what does it say? Matte finish, transfer resistant, long lasting comfort, oil free, dermatologically tested, non comment. Uh, okay, of course, you don't, you can't eat it. Yeah. It lasts all freaking day. This shit lasts 20 plus hours. I'm not kidding. And it is full coverage. And I'm gonna do a review on this one probably on my next video or something like that because you guys have to see how full coverage this foundation is. I'm not kidding. I promise. It's the most full coverage foundation I've tested on my skin. And it is amazing. It is really amazing. You guys see on my next video. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be really quick again because I have two more. Um, this one is the Lancome Tint Idol. Okay, now I'm not gonna read in French because I'm horrible. Okay, 24 hour wear and comfort retouch free foundation. This one right here, and it has an SPF of 15. This one is what I'm wearing today on my skin. And I wear this a lot, just like the MAC, a lot on my clients. This one... This one is really amazing, you guys. It lasts all night long. I'm gonna tell you, I have a friend that I did her makeup for New Year's Eve, and I used this on her. And she sent me a picture the other day. <laughs> she wore this the other day. Like, she, her foundation, like her skin looked perfect. The eyes looked perfect too because that girl must be sleeping in a coffin or something like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. But, like, her, her makeup looked flawless. I'm not kidding with this. So, this is a 24 hour wear. This lasts so long, you guys. And as you can see, it is full coverage. You can build it up like the Makeup Forever one and the MAC one. You can build it up and it is really comfortable on the skin. It also doesn't feel like you have foundation on. And I love it so very much. And I use this a lot on clients because they love it. And I love it too. I love it too. Thank you for making my skin look so pretty today. <laughs> Let's go to concealer. So I gotta say, that my favorite one, you, you, are, you can already tell what I'm talking about, right? See, you can see, you, you, I, you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this one is a Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sorry guys, this is not sold in Portugal yet, but it is amazing. It covers everything and it has like, it feels so hydrating under the eyes and it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel like, ah, oh, it feels just amazing and it covers everything I, I'm using this today and I've been using this every day since I got it and it is just so amazing I, I don't know what else to say but this is a must have and you can pretty much use it also as a full coverage foundation if you want and yeah, shit! I almost broke it, you guys. 
What the hell? This is the only one. Actually, I have two, but what the hell? No. <laughs> this one is the best concealer I've owned my whole life. If you haven't tried it, you have to. <laughs> Moving on to the next concealer. Okay, now, Portuguese girls, my girls, you can purchase this at Plurie Cosmetica and pretty much anywhere you go because this L'Oreal infallible more than a concealer concealer is the dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape um, this one covers everything it covers really well your dark spots and it gives you coverage and you can always uh, buy a lighter one so you can have that luminosity here if you have like a pimple here or here if <laughs> here or here <laughs> if you have like a pimple going on or something you can cover your pimple with it you just have like you know you open it and you put it where you have pimples and it will cover your pimples just as well as the Tarte Shape Tape which will do it better the applicator looks like this because it says that it's full coverage concealer targeted or all over so you can also use this one as a foundation you guys it's amazing concealer foundation everything <laughs> these two are my favorites so yeah so my favorite contouring blush and highlighting palette is this one from Becca um, featuring Chloe and Malika, best friends forever. I'm sorry, I have a runny nose. And it looks like this. And it has a bronzer. It has two blushes. I usually go for this one because it is more pinky and stuff. And it has a an highlighter. And I'm using that highlighter today. And as you guys can see, it is blinding. I'm also using this bronzer today. I would say this is a contour because I use it as a contour and then I go with a bronzer on top. So yeah, I love this palette to death. I take it everywhere I go, traveling everywhere. And this palette never disappoints me. It is amazing, you guys. The highlighter is really pigmented. This almost looks like I'm touching satin. It is so, um, I wanna eat it. <laughs> I'm so weird like damn okay whatever moving on my second favorite palette it's this one by Kat Von D shade plus light contour palette and this one is really amazing I love it <laughs> but you guys know that on my videos I always forget how pigmented this palette is so I always mess up my face but whatever so yeah, it has three shades of contouring, so it is really good if you're a makeup artist. And then you have these powders here, um, this one is the banana powder and you have some pinkish ones, this is for darker skin tones, this is for lighter skin tones and I usually use this one, which is the more yellow one, under my eye area and it looks just amazing I love using this powder and I love using this one as contouring so this palette is amazing it is super pigmented and your face looks flawless with this I love it moving on to blushes I gotta say everybody's crazy about the NARS orgasm blush but let me tell you I love this one that is also from NARS but is in the shade Madly and it looks like this it is like a peachy color and it has like some shimmer to it I'm using this today on my on my cheeks and it is really amazing this color it's not like that pink that you get on your, your cheeks but it is like a more peachy light color very sheer which just gives you that look people know that you have a blush but they're like, oh my god, what blush is that? It doesn't look like you have a blush, but you have a blush. Yes, it's this one. I love it. <laughs> I love it very much because I love that peachy color of a blush. I love it. <laughs> well, moving on to highlighter. This one from Ofra, which was a collab with Nikki Tutorials. This is a highlighting trio. It has three shades of highlighters. I don't use this one a lot, but I use this too. And it gives you the best highlight ever. 
it is amazing it is just I'm gonna show you guys a little bit can you see that look at that glow I mean look at that glow you guys look at that I mean I love this palette so much it is everything I'm gonna keep it with me forever I wish I could get another one because this is not sold in Portugal but damn I love this palette so much thank you Nikki tutorials and Oprah <laughs> oh I forgot what about powder Maria yes this is the Chanel natural finish loose powder and it is just the perfect loose powder to put under your eyes you can bake with it um i mean it just gives you like that satin look on your skin and it is really good to use on brides because it does look really natural on the skin and it looks really good on the picture you don't get flashback at all and I just love it so much because you need to have a good loose powder if you're a makeup artist and I think this one is definitely one of my favorite ones and I just can't live without it right now because I mean I had a taste of it and now I can get rid of it I love it it is um, a little bit on the more expensive side I'm gonna link all of this down below so you guys can go take a look at them if you want and yeah this one is just I love it <laughs> now let's talk about the compact powder this one is from Mac it's the studio fix one and this powder I love it I'm using it today like under my eye area here on the chin and on the forehead I love this one because it can be also used as a foundation you guys you can totally use this as a powdery foundation because it has color to it, it has coverage to it, and it really leaves your skin matte, which is amazing. And I sometimes just use this one without foundation. I just take this and I just put this on my skin by itself and it looks like a foundation. It is amazing, this compact powder. I love it so very much. Love it. <laughs> and now for bronzer. I love this Kiko bronzer. It is really cool. And the smell, you guys. This smells like chocolate. I'm not kidding. It does smell like chocolate. And I'm using this one today as a bronzer. And I love it because it is really pigmented. And it just gives you that natural look of a bronzer. It, it's, it's not like bronzer it, it's it's like a really sheer bronzer so yeah and it smells so good you guys I could eat this thing. <laughs> and it has a mirror which is great um, and it is pretty cheap I like this one and Kiko always has this kind of bronzers selling this one was from the last collection that they had but they they probably have a new one going on so you guys should definitely go to Kiko take a look at one of these bronzers because they're everything you guys they are everything I love them so much this one from Kiko which is the precision eyeliner and it is also this is on the cheap side which is great I think it costs like seven euros and it is really thin you see I'm using this one today and it gives you a very precise um, eyeliner and now eyebrows so I got this one which is the fill and fluff by NYX and it is like it has like this shape which is great to draw your brow hairs and, and it is really pigmented so you can keep like your eyebrows full with this and it is really great because it has like this thing to which is weird it's different from the others you can like brush your hairs and just if you put a lot of product with the pencil you can like take a little bit off the product and it just gives you the perfect eyebrow I take this everywhere I go this is really great for traveling and it keeps your brows full you can also just brush your brow hairs before application which is really great I love this one and also this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills the applicator looks like this 
and it is amazing. I'm wearing this today and it keeps my eyebrows full and it is like, I think this is easier, this applicator like this, it's easier than the pencil. So you just brush your brow hairs with this and the product, it's just there. As you brush them, the product stays on your brow and it's amazing. I love this one and it's one of my favorites. Mascara, you guys know. If you've been following my videos, you know that this mascara, which is called Big Bang, by Candy Funis is amazing. This one is one of my favorite. This one is my favorite, not one of. It's my favorite mascara because it gives you like an explosion of lashes. It gives you false lashes, not lying. This gives you false goddamn lashes. This is really amazing. It lasts all day long. It's amazing. And I have another one that I like very much, which is this one by Maybelline. The applicator looks like this. It's a little bit angled and it's really good and it gives you huge lashes, huge, huge lashes. With these two, you guys, you do not need false lashes. This two will give you false lashes in a heartbeat and it lasts all day long. They're awesome. They're awesome, you guys. They give you huge eyelashes. My favorite eyeshadow palettes of this year are definitely this one by Urban Decay. It looks amazing. It has like all these places around the world. And it is called the Born to Run palette. Very, oh my god, I have lipstick on my cheek. Nobody told me that. <laughs> it has a very high quality mirror. And you, and you can do it like this, which is great if you're like doing a client's makeup or something like that. And it has every single eyeshadow color that you need. Um, I take this a lot for traveling because it has everything, you guys. It goes on the cold side of shadows. You have greens, you have dark blues, you have a, a black. Then you have the warm tones, which are the, the browns, the pinks, the nudes. And you also have glitters and shimmers going on here for highlighting and all that. So this palette is pretty much my favorite of 2019 because, I mean you guys, this palette, you can take it anywhere and if you go somewhere for like two weeks, you can do a different look every day that, I mean, this palette has all the colors you need. All the colors. Moving on to my second favorite palette of 2019 is this one by Huda Beauty. You guys, this palette. This palette is everything. The mirror, let's talk about the high quality, huge mirror that it has and it has all these amazing colors. It has shimmers, it has glitters, really high quality glitters and some beautiful matte shades. I love this one, this one is so cute. Um, and I mean, you can do so many different looks with this palette, it's crazy because it has so many different colors, so many different shimmers, so many different glitters and the pigmentation you guys it has so much pigment one of the best ones I've owned my whole life definitely love it and look at the packaging I mean you guys damn I forgot to tell you about the pigmentation of this one it's amazing if it wasn't I wouldn't be talking about it today <laughs> okay guys moving on to lips shall we my favorite lipsticks are definitely from MAC, you guys. I have Honey Love and Velvet Teddy, and these two are my favorite nudes. They are simply amazing, and they last all day long, you guys. They are so creamy. They are matte, but they are not that usual matte lipsticks that your lips get really dry. So yeah, these are my favorites. 
yeah, definitely. You know, for glitters, you always need a glitter glue. If you don't use a glitter primer or glue or whatever you want to call this, um, your glitters can like fall on your face throughout the day and even when you're doing your application, it starts falling and all that. It's crazy. It's a, it's a mess situation that starts going on in your face. So you definitely need a glitter primer and this one by NYX is one of my favorite ones. I usually put it with my finger or with a brush and then you can put your glitter on top of it and it stays. Now the final step which is the um, fixing spray or the setting spray. So I have to say that this MAC Prep and Prime spray is definitely my favorite one because you can use this as a primer and you can use this as a setting spray at the end of your makeup. I also use this right when I get out of the shower and my face is like super dry. I just spray this on my face and it just, I mean, it feels like I put a moisturizer on because it's what it says here. It is a soothing moisture mist that refreshes the skin and finishes makeup. It feels like a moisturizer and it just refreshes your skin and you just you don't get that dry skin. I just put it on my face, all over my face and it just looks great. My makeup just looks amazing when I use this. This is definitely my favorite one and will always be, I'm pretty sure. So I always go for this one because I even have like the mini one, see? <laughs> I have a ton of this. Uh, Prep and Prime <laughs> by MAC. It's my favorite one. My second favorite one is this NYX and Matte Finish uh, Long Lasting Setting Spray, which is great for oily girls and girls with combination skin just like me. If you put this on, you get that matte finish so you don't get oily and all that throughout the day which is really great. I love this one for that. So yeah, you guys, this was my 2019 favorites. I absolutely love all these products and now I'm just, I'm curious to see which ones are going to be my favorites for 2020. I'm pretty sure this year um, there are going to be many, many amazing products coming out that I will be pleased to show you guys here on my channel and I just can't wait, I just can't wait. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you wanna purchase any of these things, I really try to show you things on the lower price and the higher end price, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy my videos in general. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you can be notified whenever I post a video. And yeah, you guys, that's it. I hope you had an amazing New Year's Eve and I hope 2020 is your year. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be your year, everyone's year. Um, just be positive and grateful for everything in your life because God is great. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye!